Hey guys, thank you very much for all your feedback and all your questions. I will um, answer as many as possible. I'm excited for this. What music do I listen to when I'm painting? Mostly I listen to uh, Deep House, um, but stuff that I can that can get me into like um, like a kind of like a meditation state and just some stuff that is just like like very deep but you know what sometimes I can also listen to like jazz or trance or but these days mostly deep house if I will have a show in Denmark soon again um, well I just got off like a huge show my biggest solo show uh, ever uh, this past October so I'm not planning a new show in, in Denmark but yes I would love to come back and do a show soon again definitely if I if I'm ever worried to mess stuff up while I'm painting, um, I, I always, and I think that's just uh, like how I am with my mindset, that um, I don't think about uh, if I fuck it up, I more think about like how, how I can make this amazing and my, all my focus is um, uh, how I can make it as good as possible. Um, of course, I mess up and I do like failures and spill pain and stuff, but and it just gives me like extra sweat in the progress, but I'm uh, I'm always continuing to the end goal and it is to do a piece that I'm, I can be like proud uh, of. When did I first start spray painting? Uh, I started spray painting for the first time when I was 15 years old, so that's almost 20 years ago now. How do I fight against self-doubt? Uh, I really like that question because um, believe it or not, I had a lot of self-doubt and um, how I eliminate self-doubt is to build up a great, great reputation within myself. And how do you do that? That is when I, the stuff that I promise myself, I also go out and do it. And it can be small stuff like, oh, I have to go, go up at like seven in the morning. I have to go to the gym or I'm gonna finish this piece or this mural in this week and I accomplish that and I do it every time and you build the best reputation you can um, within yourself that will eventually uh, eliminate self-doubt um, but it's it's much deeper than that and I could sit here and, and talk about that for 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 hours definitely um, but it's something that I fight with every day and um, when my brain or something is telling me that I am not good enough, then it's just because that it, that it has nothing to do with reality. It's because that somebody at some point when you were young or whatever told you that you were not good enough and that um, get played over and over in your head and you build a pattern. And But the amazing thing is that you can break that pattern by start building up a good self-reputation. My biggest mule, that is no doubt the um, mural I did in the downtown LA in the art district, uh, Vivid Rhythms at the Art Shell building and it was 9,300 square feet. It took me many years um, to find my style, I found out like what I wanted and um, my background as a um, graffiti writer uh, and as a graphic designer definitely um, uh, like showed me the way and made me experiment in certain ways and um, I guess the geometric uh, all the geometrics I do is uh, like a deep part of me it's almost like a, my um, graphic design way to communicate my wild style letters um, and oh yeah, I, I get tired of making geometric sometimes and that's why I just let it out on uh, canvases um, uh, with like no plan and no geometric, just like uh, huge brush strokes and drips and splashes and everything. Um, and uh, and there was like a, a huge part of my uh, latest uh, solo show I had. Um, I showed a lot of those pieces as well. Um, I've only been in my studio, had studio practice for like five years. So five years ago, none of what, well, none of the pieces that I'm painting, <laughs> that, that you see now existed five years ago, none. Um, and the first piece I did in my studio like five years ago, um, 
<laughs> I would say they're like horrible compared to what I do now. Um, maybe I post some of my older work and uh, I'll let you decide if there's any evolution. My ultimate goal is to not only change the world through my art, and I, when I say change the world, I mean how I can make the world a better place to live um, in terms of helping people in need and to do a massive effort in saving the oceans and have focus on the climate change. And um, that's why I founded Michael B Foundation where we are fighting every day for this and to be able to change the world through my art um, is my ultimate goal and wake up every morning and to live 100% of my passion. We are a team of uh, 10 people and that it's including uh, my manager and uh, production and PR and online. If I put a coding on my pieces, uh, yes I do, I prefer um, glossy coating like um, like Archival UV coating that will protect the painting for uh, from UV light and it will like seal the work for um, years to come um, and I prefer like a glossy one there's a, a, a lot of good um, uh, varnishes uh, out there you can get them in like any art store what masking tape do I use to uh, make the sharp edges um, any masking tape is good. Um, just be sure that it's like uh, painter's tape, um, like real painter's tape um, that you can uh, get in uh, like any um, art supply store or Home Depot or anything like that. Um, and it will it will do the job for you, I promise. Uh, I, I don't use any <laughs> secret tape or anything. I just use like re regular masking tape. Is there a story behind my tattoos? Uh, yeah, um, let me just show you here. Actually, it goes. Uh, the, my tattoo goes all the way uh, up here on my shoulder, and it was um, this like double portrait was the very first tattoo I uh, ever got, and um, it was just before I moved to LA by um, um, by my friend Steve Soto uh, in Orange County. He did the, my whole sleeve, and the idea was like a Gemini concept, um, and. Um, I have a twin brother and he means everything to me and he's also my manager and um, this was like a symbol for that and then I added like a black rose and a white rose for like yin and yang night and day which I feel like my me and my brother we are like night and day um, and I have like one of the quotes that means everything to me live your dream and share your passion um, I look at that every day and I'm trying to do that every day so it reminds me and um, and then I have a, a, a Buddha um, because I've been traveling a lot to Asia and I um, believe a lot in uh, mindfulness and meditation. Um, so, um, yeah. What is my favorite movie? Top of mind, I'm thinking Dumb and Dumber, Star Wars, and Inception. Advice on what spray paint to use, um, yeah, um, I say any spray paint that is designed to do graffiti or street art with and it will be everything from Molotov and um, Montana cans and uh, MTN uh, 94, um, that's most of the stuff that I do, um, so just go in any art store and they can also help you to get the right paint, but um, yeah, Molotov Montana, always a good choice.